Hello everyone, I am Ghulam Abbas. I hope you guys are doing well. In this video, I'm going to show you how to change the DNS of your Windows 10 or Windows 11 using the different methods. So let's start with the classic simplest method called control panel. So open the search bar and search for control panel. Following that, go to network and internet, choose network and sharing center. Now click on change adapter settings. This is going to view your current network configuration settings. For now, I'm connected to the Wi-Fi, so I'm going to uh, change the DNS of this specific adapter. So right-click on it and choose properties. Following that, go to the Internet Protocol version 4, TCP slash IPv4. Now you have to uh, simply choose use the following DNS server. And now go ahead and choose your preferred DNS and the alternate DNS server. If you have a uh, purchase a specific DNS server, then you have to simply enter their details here. So for now, I'm using the Google's op uh, Google's uh, public DNS called 8, 8, 8, 8, and following that, 8 by 8 and 4. This is the Google's public DNS. Just go ahead, click OK, and now the changes has been applied to your system. In case if you want to undo it, again, you can just right click on it and choose properties. Go to the Internet Protocol version 4 and choose Obtain DNS Server automatically. This is the first method that you can use to change the DNS. Now let's go ahead and try the second method. Right click on the Start menu and choose Settings. Following that, go to Network and Internet. From here, you have to choose an option between Wi-Fi and Ethernet. If you are using Ethernet port, always change that. Or if you are using Wi-Fi like me, choose it. Following that, choose the properties of the current connected Wi-Fi. So in my case, it's connected to the pcl pb Now, click on properties, scroll down, and you can see DNS server assignment. Now click on edit. Uh, click on the drop-down menu and choose manual. Turn on IPv4. Type the preferred DNS and now the alternate DNS. And now save the changes. As you can see now, the current settings has been applied to the DNS server. You can always change it back or turn it off if you do not need. The other method that you can use to change the DNS on your Windows 11 or Windows 10 is using CMD. So in my case, you can uh, I will be using Terminal, which is also a part of the, you can see Terminal and PowerShell both are included there. So just right click on it and choose run as administrator. First, you have to view all of the current internet settings for that or adapters. Simply type ipconfig slash all. So as you can see, there are many adapters connected uh, into my PC. As you can see, there is uh, the virtual machines. You can see this is the current IP configuration of my computer. There is the internet port. It is the wireless adapter. There is the, uh, you can see the VMware network adapter. So there, as you can see, there are a lot of them. So the one that I'm interested in, that is called Wi-Fi. So first you have to get the name of the adapter that you want to change your details. So as you can see, Wi-Fi. And now you can also check the other settings that are currently available here. Uh, among them, DNS server, you can see this is the current DNS server that it has obtained directly from the router. So, to change it, you have to uh, simply, uh, I'll provide this command in the description. You can always use them yourself. This is the command. So, netash, uh, netash interface IP set DNS name, Wi-Fi static is 888 and 8. And now press enter. So, as you can see, the changes has been applied. So for the for the alternate DNS, you can always copy the second command. So you can see netash interface IP at DNS name Wi-Fi 8844 index 2. And now press enter. And now the changes has been applied. To check if the changes has been applied or no, again you have to simply type IP config slash all. As you can see, under the DNS server, there is the details of the DNS. 8888 8, 8, 8, and again 8.44. As you can see, the changes has been applied.
Okay. What about PowerShell? You can also use PowerShell to uh, change the DNS. Okay, just go ahead, launch PowerShell as administrator. You can uh, get all of this command in the description and or the official website of Microsoft. As you can see, these are the commands which I have extracted from there and made it very simple for you guys. So anyway. Just you have to type get net IP configuration. Again, the same settings, the same method. You have to just simply, okay. That has not been copied, or that was not copied. So as you can see, it is going to get you the current uh, network settings. As it were, you can say that it is the alternative IP config in CMD. So anyway, as you can see, these are the details. And the one that I am interested in is called Wi-Fi. So this is the Wi-Fi. The interface index is 21. Make sure that uh, interface index is really important because you have to change that one inside this command. As you can see, interface index, I have already changed it to 21. If you are using an Ethernet port, that will be, I think, 12, as uh, I think that is mentioned here. Yeah, you can see interface index here is 12. So you should always remember that. And then you can see the current uh, uh, IP and then the DNS server. Now to change it, uh, this time, instead of the Google, I have been using the open DNS. You can say this is the DNS and then the alternate DNS that you can use. So anyway, now just simply copy this command. Paste it. I'm really sorry that was not copied again. So that was applied. Again, go ahead and copy the same, the other uh, command. And now again, you have to use this uh, IP key to bring the get net IP configuration to check the changes. As you can see, the changes has been applied to the uh, DNS server. You can also check it using the control panel if you wish. Just make sure to open the control panel TCPA. NCPA.CPL, that is the shortcut that is going to open the uh, network connections or the current network settings. So as you can see, the same IP, the same DNS server has been applied. So I hope that this tutorial has been helpful to you. Oh, and by the way, I'm really sorry. Uh, I will be uh, providing the comments through this article. So as you can see, this is the article that I have written inside this website called Near Techno. The details are available, even the comments. So in case you are wondering, this is the command and the other command. So I'll be linking this article in the, in the description so you can find the commands yourself. So if you have any question, let me know in the comment section. I'll be happy to help you guys. So for now, have a nice day. Goodbye. And I'll meet you guys in the next video.